flashing red lights, purple dye, and a crazed Indian housewife. I'll explain. Keep watching. A perfectly timed mistake turned my gray hair journey into a purple haze. It all started with a trip to the salon. A little bit of sirens were involved. Kara color. And a crazed Indian housewife seeped her way into my life. Hi, my name is Roxana. Welcome to my neck of the woods. This is your first time here. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you've been here before, I am thrilled that you came back. I do videos on plus size fashion, unboxings, though it's been a while since I did that, but I will be getting a stitch fix soon and also a trunk club. I also do videos on beauty, whatever floats my boat. Usually it has to do with this whole gray hair journey. And this purple face started out with a trip to see Olivia, my hairdresser. Olivia. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. What happened? So uh, we were doing this glaze and I knew <laughs> when I saw it in the bowl that it was going to look pretty purple. <laughs> so needless to say, my it is 8.30 in the morning. I have a whole day of clients and we've started with this. <laughs> she said, hey. I'm, I'm gonna make a more of like a grayish violet. Do you mind? I'm like, oh heck no. And then I have my head in the bowl and she says, um, hey, you don't mind if it turns purple, do you? I'm like, no, not at all. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like first day out. I got it done this morning. Olivia was gonna put a little bit of violet and a, a gray in here, but purple happened which is fine i was gonna do it pink because that's what you guys asked for but this is what happened so i wanted to show it to you what it looks like with the haircut i decided to change my part i am now parting it in the middle i've parted on the side for years and years if i could just pull it back i'll be okay so if i can pull it back at work i'm fine but i do liking the new haircut Oi. Do I have to move out if there is a siren behind me? I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna move right out of the way, out of the peach lane. Let them go by. Go, 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 yay! Thank you, Lord Jesus. Right back onto the peach pass. Uh, Atlanta traffic back to my hair. I wanted to show you what it's like before I washed it and see what happens after I wash it Now I am paying attention more to the driving than you guys, but I'm also multitasking Olivia cut about three to four inches off of my hair and you can definitely see it. Oh, there's where the accident is Okay, gotta pay attention to my driving. Bye. Hi, this is what my hair looks like five days out after having the color in I've washed it three times with normal shampoo, not purple shampoo. And I have conditioned it each time. I am about to put the Kara color in the purple hue. It's supposed to cleanse and condition, deposit color pigments, and maintain hue to prevent fading. Obviously, it's faded a lot, and I wanted to see how much it would fade with normal washing before I put the Kara color in. I am surprised just how much it faded right where my gray is without any kind of color in it. Over here, you can see just how the color was absorbed depending what kind of highlights, low lights, maybe a little bit of the blonde dye that I've had in there. The color, of course, absorbed differently. However, if I want this to completely fade, it is a semi-permanent color mixed with conditioner. Continue washing would make the color go away. I might have already mentioned it earlier in the video. She added gray color, semi-permanent color mixed with a little bit of purple trying to get like a violet kind of highlights to it. But it turned out this shade. And let's see what happens when I put the purple in there. Whoops. <laughs> on the back it has a color wheel. I don't know if you can pick it up on my phone, but this is 
pretty much what my hair looks like after being dyed, which is the light blonde, not the gray. And then this is supposed to be after one wash. This is after three washes. And this deep, deep is supposed to be after five washes. So let's see what happens. One wash later. What do you guys think? Comment down below and don't be afraid to be completely honest. It's pretty vibrant, huh? So what I did is I took this Kara color inside my shower, of course, inside my shower. I parted my hair in the middle and I took two of these pumps. Now, let me show you. Do you see how purple, how deep purple it is? I took up two of these pumps and just laid it all over my hair. I took a comb. Um, I don't have it with me. I took a comb and combed it right through it, all the way through it. Then I washed it and I deposited some more product all over my hair because I really wanted to saturate my hair with the color and see how my hair absorbs it. In the gray area, it almost turned it a little violet purple. Blue, not purple. And where I have highlights, it turned it a little bit of a different color. Where there is still blonde dye in my hair, it, it almost turned it a rose gold. It's You can see a little bit of the brashiness. You know, by the way, Kara Color does have a rose gold color, and I would like to try that out. That it cleans and conditioned like it claims to do? Yes, I definitely think it does that. I've used this in the past with the gray color, and talked about it in the past. I definitely think it conditions and cleans and it does add a shine to it. Did it deposit color pigment? I sure think it did. Did it maintain hues to prevent fading? Yes, you definitely see the difference between me washing my hair with just normal shampoo, how it faded after three washes versus me washing it just once with the deposit of the purple hue. I am going to see what it's like after three washes, I will show you, and after five washes, again, I will show you. If you want to find out what it's like, by all means, subscribe, ring that bell, it will notify you next time I make a video. About a month ago, I did a video on the whole gray hair transition and how I am a little bit bored with it. I have been experimenting with this Kara color in the silver hue and that just wasn't enough. In the video, I talk about missing going to the hair salon and coming out with a whole different shade. In the past, Olivia have put brown and blonde and red in my hair, so I was just wanting something different. You guys gave me some great suggestions. You suggested that if I miss Olivia, I should just go out with her for dinner. You were kindly enough to suggest that I needed a haircut, that my ends were a little bit fried. <laughs> <laughs> in that same video, I tell you that at home I had the Kara color in the silver blue hue and also in the white hue. You cannot see it, it's blowing up on my iPhone. And I wasn't home when I did that video. I couldn't remember if I had purple or pink at home. And I ask you guys, what should I experiment with next? A lot of you said pink. When I got home, I realized that I didn't have pink and I bought pink. My whole plan was to stop using the care color, get the silver completely out of my hair so I have a clean slate. In the meantime, I was going to see Olivia and get my hair styled, get the, the split ends cut off. And since the majority of you kept on saying pink, I went to the store got the pink Kara color and was going to start using that and see what happened. Once I got to see Olivia, and you all know what happened once I saw Olivia. Well, since I had the purple in my hair and I had the purple color at home, I decided to stay in this purple haze. One YouTuber, she suggested I use Revlon color 
and add some purple in there. She is the crazed Indian housewife I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I like to end all of my videos on a note of gratitude. I am so grateful for unique YouTubers like the crazed Indian housewife. I'm gonna link her channel down below. She is the first YouTuber that I see what happens when you try these unconventional hair colors on gray hair. It gave me an idea of what to expect. I like watching YouTubers that are off the beaten path and the crazed Indian housewife. As you can tell by the name of her channel, it's not your average Joe. No, she's not your average Jonette. <laughs> she's not your average Joan. <laughs> Anyway, check out her channel. I love watching videos from women that are smart, fun, unconventional, and unapologetic about forging their own journey towards aging. And the crazed housewife definitely checks all of these boxes. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Bye.